question. When you hear the letters M, S, G, what comes into your mind? Ulam, diba? Pero guess what? MSG is now being touted as a miracle product that can make your plants grow big and bloom. But no one really bothers to explain the science behind this. For this post, I will try to dissect what makes MSG work. A disclaimer before I begin, I am not an agriculturist. I am a clinical lab scientist with extensive background in chemistry and biology. While I can explain concepts presented in this video, I am not an expert and as such, I will be leaving relevant links for those who wish to do some further reading. Let's get started! It simply means monosodium glutamate and the easiest way to explain this is that it's salt which is sodium chloride plus glutamic acid. So, this occurs naturally in foods such as cheese, tomatoes, kelp, you know, seaweed, and this is also responsible for the umami taste found in lots of Asian food. So, I did my research, and I found some articles and journals saying that MSG is actually being used to boost the growth of fuel crops, meaning grains such as rice, corn, and wheat all over the world. Of course, take note, most of these articles describe food crops, not ornamental plants like our pet succulents. Also, you have to take note na ang ginamit nila is MSG wastewater, meaning this is the water na naiwan or which is a byproduct of MSG manufacturing. So pag nakuha na nila yung crystals, um, maiiwan yung wastewater and this is what they would use para i-fertilize yung mga plant nila. This is vastly different from what we see on social media wherein people would just get like isang sachet ng MSG tapos tutunawin nila sa isang galon or isang timba ng tubig. So that is an MSG solution versus in the studies which actually used MSG wastewater. Anyway, according to my research and understanding of course, there's a certain concentration of MSG wastewater that is beneficial for plants. So a 2019 study concludes that the optimal concentration is 10% wastewater that should be used to fertilize the plant. And in this study, ang ginamit nilang plant is corn. And what they observed is, first of all, tumangkad yung halaman. Second, tumaba yung stems. Third, mas madami siyang leaves. And fourth, bukod sa madami leaves, mahahaba at mas malaki yung leaves nila. And guess what caused the, these benefits? I mean, guys, really, guess what caused it? Nitrogen. Yung letter N sa NPK ng mga fertilizer. Which, by the way, NPK means nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Wag nyo kong itrash, yung K is potassium. Go back to your periodic table, you can see it there. K, potassium. I think the origin is Latin, calium, if I remember correctly. Anyway, let's get it over with. Lumilihis tayo sa topic. So, all that positive growth is nakuha siya from the nitrogen. Now, you might say, sabi niyo, ay, wait, wala namang nitrogen sa name ng monosodium glutamate. Wala siya sa name, pero nitrogen is present in glutamic acid. Glutamic acid is an amino acid which is needed to make proteins. And proteins are needed by the plants to make chlorophyll. And we all know that Plants need chlorophyll so that they can do photosynthesis and make their food. As I was saying, 
since glutamic acid is um, an amino acid and it's a building block of protein proteins basically the formula is CHON carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen again letter N nitrogen so plants love nitrogen kaya nga all fertilizers have nitrogen in differing ratios and as a rule the higher the nitrogen the faster the plant will grow now for our succulents um we all know they take their time they're very very slow growers and the reason behind this is that they live in the most extreme in some of the most extreme habitats now and this is also why they re they don't tend to grow really big unless you're one of those like newer hybrids na napakalalaki na talaga nila. Slow growers ang succulents and they tend to be on the small size because they need to conserve water and they need to conserve energy to sustain life. Now, if you suddenly increase nitrogen sa growing medium, that dadami ang proteins naturally. Kaya biglang growth spurt si halaman. Now, what happens is the increase in nitrogen would signal the plant that, hey, there's a surplus of nitrogen. There's so many nutrients. Let's take all that we can, all that we can, and and just grow. That that that's just what happens. Parang nagkaroon siya ng ano? Ayuda ganon. So, magkakaroon ng growth spurt si halaman and bigla siyang lalaki, which is for us nakakatuwa, di ba? But the drawback long term is what I noticed is that the leaves tend to become dull. Tapos, ang hahaba nila. Mahahaba, tapos malambot, madaling mahulog. And the stems, in general, parang napaka malambot nila. And I really don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. Um, hindi sila hardy, which is the opposite of what succulents are. Succulents are supposed to be matibay kasi yung natural habitat nga nila is deserts, coastline, cliff sides with extreme weather. So if you want to use MSG, you can do so by all means because we have nitrogen. But you have to remember that nitrogen in the MSG is also paired with sodium. Do you know why they say MSG is bad for your health? This is because of salt, specifically sodium. Sodium is the yin to nitrogen's yang. In the same way that too much sodium causes kidney and heart problems for humans, too much sodium is also toxic to plants. Watering your plants with MSG solution also releases sodium in the soil. And before you say, ay, konti lang naman, just remember, na kapag madalas mong ginagamit ito, it will accumulate over time. And too much soil in the ground or in your growing medium will leave it less fertile and more prone to weeds. Now you're gonna ask, paano siya naging less fertile? Guys, remember that in your soil, in your growing medium, there are microbes that are actually beneficial to your plant. And this is the reason why I don't sterilize my soil. Hindi ako nagsasangag ng soil because there are microbes there that will actually help your plant grow. There are microbes that fix nitrogen and they are very, very beneficial to your plant. So please don't sterilize your soil. Like what? Anyway, I'll, 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 I'll discuss that in another video. But yeah. Too much sodium will kill off the microbes that are actually helping your plant. And also weeds. Weeds are very tolerant. Mas matibay sila kesa sa succulents. If you remember those bush fires in Australia this year, isa sa mga unang tumubo are weeds. Grass, ganyan. Kasi, um, they are very fire resistant. And matotolerate nila talaga yung soil na may high salinity so if your soil is less fertile this means your plant will be unhealthy and if your plant is unhealthy 
it's gonna stress out now I know oh my god stressed plants pretty colors and so cyanins and stuff no we love we love that kind of stress but please this kind of stress is different like I know na ini induce natin talaga yung colors by stress stressing out the plant using different temperatures and um, water watering frequencies but this one is different it's in the roots so if your soil is less fertile your plant will be stressed and what will the plant's response be it's gonna bloom why does it want to bloom why does it bloom it's because the plant senses that oh my god I'm nearing the end of my lifespan I have to propagate I have to put out pups I have to put out flowers and these flowers need to be pollinated so I can continue my species and continue the life cycle. I know it looks good, but your plant is probably stressed. So yeah, I would advise against using MSG. Oh, what did I learn? Will I use MSG for my plants? I think it's a hard pass. I'm not gonna use MSG for my plants, especially because there are no other alternatives. I have Vermicast and I'm very contented So Vermicast plus yung mga slow release na fertilizers ko. And so far, um, they don't have bad effects on my plants. So my conclusion, keep your vetchin in the kitchen. Bye!